Ponce de Leon is credited with the official discovery of Florida in 1513. But there is much evidence to support the theory that Spanish slave ships captured Florida Indians and took them as slaves long before Ponce de Leon stepped upon its shore. At first, we thought it was only a rumor, this place where the magical waters are said to make an old man young again. We have found the place, and I see many rivers flowing. Which one leads to the fountain of youth? On the morning of March the 3rd, 1513, we set sail from Puerto Rico in three ships. I obtained a three-year contract from the Spanish crown, giving me the sole right to search for and settle the lands to the north. It took nearly a six week of sailing among the islands of the Bahamas before we arrived on the coast of this great land. I went ashore and firmly planted the Spanish flag, claiming this land in the name of King Philip of Spain. It was near the eastern season, Pascua, Florida, so I named this new country La Florida. We explored as much of the new territory as we could. We covered the Atlantic and Gulf coastal waters far into the north and west of the peninsula. Then, in September, we returned to Puerto Rico. In February 1521, I left Puerto Rico with 200 citizens to install the first colony in La Florida. We arrived safely and began building our new settlement. We did not get very far before the Indians attacked us. Many Spanish were killed and I was wounded. I was forced to return to Puerto Rico with his survivors. Ponce de Leon died of his wounds and was buried in Puerto Rico in 1521.